Hello and welcome. In today's episode, we'll be talking about narcissism. Before we dive into our discussion, if you find the video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Also, hit the notification bell to stay updated on all our new content. When we talk about how to make a narcissist respect you, there are two ways you can benefit from, but let's focus on the fact that a narcissist fundamentally lacks respect for anyone other than himself, sometimes. The narcissist lacks any form of conscience, meaning he has no ability to try empathy or love with anyone he deals with. This is because he greatly lacks a conscience, and the way he perceives others differs from how we interact. Thank you very much for your support. If you find this content helpful, please like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for helping share this message with those who can benefit from it. For the narcissist, people are nothing more than objects used for supply and resources that they gain from them, such as money or sex, or anything the narcissist can benefit from you. So, how can someone look at the people they live with and interact with in a way that they can truly respect them? The truth, folks, is that the narcissist is completely incapable of respecting anyone. The only thing you can obtain from a narcissist is for him not to lack respect for you. In another way, if the narcissist respects you, you might find him retracting from belittling you, manipulating you, or punishing you. So, if this is the respect you need from a narcissistic person, continue watching the video to the end to learn how to achieve that. Once the narcissist senses that you can provide valuable information about yourself, they swiftly move with extreme speed in studying you. During this time, their narcissistic tendencies lead them to identify all your weaknesses and exploit any insecurities to establish control over you in the future. When the narcissist perceives you as a significant source of supply and manipulation, they begin to encircle you, even infiltrating your social media networks. Their aim is to get closer to you, fabricating information and distorting realities to ensure successful manipulation and control. Despite the narcissist's desire for control and manipulation, they do not genuinely respect you, you are merely a tool for them to use or misuse as they see fit. To earn the narcissist's respect, it's crucial to maintain a distance from them as much as possible. When you are distant, it becomes challenging for them to intimidate or exert control over you. Narcissists show little respect for individuals who can't be easily controlled or manipulated. Such individuals are akin to an energy drink that the narcissist consumes to feed their ego, only to discard once depleted. Nevertheless, individuals who hold on to their self-confidence can garner more respect than narcissists ever could. Narcissists possess a level of self-confidence driven by a sense of superiority and entitlement. They consider themselves flawless and complete, reveling in connections with individuals who exude self-confidence. Such associations boost the narcissist's self-esteem significantly. Additionally, narcissists take pride in affiliating with individuals who hold high value and exhibit confidence, as it becomes a symbol for them to showcase to those around them. The narcissist views such relationships as an indispensable source of pride and validation. It seems like you're describing the dynamics of a narcissistic personality in relationships, specifically differentiating between overt narcissism and covert narcissism. In the case of overt narcissism, individuals display a strong sense of self-confidence and project an idealized image to others. They are drawn to people who have high self-esteem and admirable qualities, as these individuals contribute positively to the narcissist's image. Overt narcissists often thrive in social situations and are seen as charming and impressive. On the other hand, covert narcissism is characterized by a hidden sense of inferiority and low self-worth. These individuals may lack confidence and struggle with feelings of inadequacy. Instead of addressing their issues directly, covert narcissists might choose to devalue those close to them, especially those with high self-esteem. This behavior stems from jealousy and a desire to undermine the confidence of others. The covert narcissist may seek a connection with someone who possesses strong self-assurance, attempting to gain respect and validation by associating with them. However, their hidden insecurities can lead them to criticize and devalue the person they are drawn to. One key issue with covert narcissism is the intense jealousy they feel towards the confidence of others. 
To cope with this jealousy, they may manipulate and control those close to them, aiming to secure a constant source of validation and admiration. Ultimately, the covert narcissist's goal is to dominate and control others to ensure a steady supply of emotional energy and resources. This control can extend to choosing your friends and even limiting your contact with family members, isolating you to maintain their influence over your life. The covert narcissist aims to make you dependent on them, ensuring that you rely on them for validation and support. It's important to recognize and understand these dynamics in relationships involving narcissistic individuals, as it can help individuals set boundaries and seek support to maintain healthy connections. In this way, the narcissist treats you with disdain and undermines the decisions that you should be making. Ultimately, the narcissist shows a complete lack of respect for you. To earn the narcissist's respect, you need to try to maintain your independence and control over every aspect of your life. Make it clear that if the narcissist cannot exert mental and financial control over you, they will respect you unequivocally because you rely on yourself. The narcissist needs you to be dependent on them to feel important and to exercise control over you. Your goal is to distance yourself from this need for the narcissist and strive to be entirely self-reliant in all aspects of your life. The narcissist always expects you to be available to them according to their desires and commands. They consider themselves the center of the universe, meaning you exist to serve them and meet their needs. More importantly, don't forget that the narcissist does not respect the source of their supply. You, as the individual providing that supply, are there to play a specific role for the narcissist, and that's the crux of the matter. To make a narcissistic person respect you, you must be sure and consistently maintain that you are not always available to them. When they call, only answer when you are ready. Even if they send you a message, don't open it until you are truly prepared to respond. Don't immediately execute any task or favor the narcissist asks of you, regardless of your own interests, schedule, or other responsibilities. Prioritize your life, and let it be known that you have priorities that you won't compromise. This approach will show the narcissist that you are not just a follower or at their beck and call at all times. Instead, you are an individual with your own responsibilities and interests that you will not relinquish under any circumstances. Keep in mind that the narcissist always needs to maintain their idealized image in front of people. They achieve this by making those around them feel jealous and constantly impressed with them, talking about their achievements to create a sense of awe. For the narcissist to achieve this, they surround themselves with individuals who see them as legendary, mythical, and possessing high value. These individuals may hold high positions, have influence, or possess a certain financial status. The narcissist gains narcissistic supply by associating with successful and powerful individuals who are also highly famous. This allows them to boast about their friendships and make themselves feel superior, perfect, and important. Individuals with high value, as mentioned earlier, are crucial for the narcissist to gain their respect. To make a narcissist respect you, they need to perceive you as valuable and important while maintaining a healthy distance. To interact with respect, you must first learn to communicate the behaviors that you find acceptable and unacceptable to those around you. The truth is, a narcissist may never truly respect you because they lack a conscience or empathy, and they only see you as a tool for attention and resources. However, this doesn't mean you have to accept disrespectful behavior. When you have a high level of self-respect, you won't tolerate mistreatment from anyone. If you want a narcissist to treat you with respect, you need to set boundaries and not accept anything less. To ensure that a narcissist treats you with respect, it is essential to establish clear boundaries between yourself and the narcissist. If you cannot teach the narcissist how to interact with you, they will continue to diminish your value, manipulate you, and punish you for any reason to control your behavior and emotions. The process of setting these boundaries starts from within yourself. Once the narcissist begins to cross any of these boundaries, which they are likely to do, you need to express that you will not tolerate such behavior. It is crucial to communicate that you will not compromise when it comes to being treated disrespectfully in words or actions. Additionally, it is important to show the narcissist the consequences of crossing these boundaries. 
For instance, if you feel they are speaking to you in an unacceptable manner, make it clear that you will end the conversation if they continue in that manner. Alternatively, you can inform them that you will leave the place if they persist in behaving or speaking in an inappropriate or unacceptable manner. Keep in mind that the narcissist is unlikely to accept these boundaries easily, and you should expect significant resistance from them. They may accuse you of being overly sensitive, question your thinking and perspective, or even imply that you are dealing with them in a high-strung manner. They might also express doubt about your ability to handle situations. When the narcissist tries to manipulate you, it indicates their unwillingness to respect you. It is crucial to recognize their testing of your boundaries and respond assertively to maintain your self-respect. Setting and maintaining boundaries with a narcissist can be challenging, and be prepared for resistance and manipulation from them. Remember, they may attempt to push your boundaries at the earliest opportunity to regain control, so staying firm and assertive is crucial. Try to have some strength and resilience in this matter because it is crucial in your relationship with the narcissist. The only way a narcissist can gain control over someone else is by convincing them that they are the most important thing in their life and the thing they need the most. During the love bombing phase, the narcissist will study their target with intense focus to understand what they lack or what they are seeking. Most people are looking for things like love, protection, or escape from a specific problem, and once the narcissist identifies what you are looking for or in need of, they will present themselves as the savior. If the narcissist senses that you need someone to listen to you, they will become the most attentive person, genuinely interested in you. If you've been through a difficult period with instability or lack of safety, the narcissist will become the person who provides you with the ideal life you dream of. The narcissist is a persuasive devil. At this point, you may feel like you've finally found your best friend, that things will get better, and life will change for the better. Despite all of this, as soon as you emotionally attach to the narcissist, and they secure that attachment, they will begin to withhold everything they used to offer. They will make you financially dependent on them to the point where you can't end the relationship because you can't navigate life without them. Additionally, they might start distancing themselves emotionally, and you won't receive the same level of communication as before. This is to ensure that you stay in the relationship and don't escape. To make a narcissist respect you, you must be the source of love and security for yourself, and your complete reliance should be on yourself. The narcissist will highly respect the fact that they cannot control you because you have complete self-sufficiency. This, of course, won't appeal to the narcissist, but at least it will make them respect you due to their inability to exert control over you. When you can provide yourself with everything you need to live a good and happy life, you won't find yourself relying on the narcissist or anyone else that might make you compromise or neglect your personal boundaries. To be a source of all these things for yourself, you need to continue working on yourself and healing from this toxic relationship. Try to remove all the traumas you experienced during your time with the narcissistic person because narcissists use these traumas as weapons against you, and once you have no wounds within you, they won't have any means to reach you again. Narcissists, in general, cannot naturally respect anyone, and the best way to gain self-respect is by addressing your traumas and not allowing the narcissist to use them against you as a weapon. Your self-respect and self-esteem will drive narcissists out of your life. Don't let the narcissist deceive you into letting them back into your world. If you are dealing with a narcissistic colleague at work, a manager, or a family member, Try to minimize contact and maintain your boundaries and self-respect without compromising. You are not required to tolerate disrespectful behavior from anyone, regardless of their status in your life. In the end, I hope you have benefited from this discussion, and I look forward to meeting you in the next episode with a new topic on narcissism. Thank you, and peace be upon you.